Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Ricky Steamboat, Heroic Masters of Dragons. So uh, we have a new Motu card. Ricky Steamboat is the chase. Uh, he's a technician, modern era. Um, he has two links. He has the Masters of the WWE Universe link. Moves that generate any color gem will create two more. And Modern Era, gems do 5% more damage. He has the one gear, the Heroic Master of Dragons gear. He is a coach, all the way at 15k. Red move, starting MP, reduced by 3 for your opponent. Uh, continuing the trend of this coach for the MLC guys. Again, this is a clutch coach, and one you are absolutely going to want. Um, I have three builds for you guys. A 3-star, a 4-star, and a 5-star. And um, I'm going to tell you guys right off the get, right out the gate, uh, the fourth and fifth moveset are amazing, like really, really good. And uh, Steamboat is the best tech in the game, I believe. That's my opinion. Uh, and I think he's amazing. And I want this, I want this card uh, really, really bad. So let's take a look at the movesets. We're going to start with the three star, move to the four star, and then the five star. And... Um, I have no tour perks, which is okay, because I'm going to run him how I would run him for Feud. Um, so all of the movesets you'll see will be how I'd set him up for Feud. Uh, moveset, uh, the 4-star and 5-star, will be turn 1 in Feud with the way I have them set up. Uh, I'm going to do one more thing for this first build set. Uh, I'm going to change one thing out so you guys can see what the finisher looks like with a good metal. Uh, I'm going to take uh, my Drew's me uh, metal off and um, put a 133% move damage metal on Steamboat uh, for this preview. Um, he won't have the double takedown or the double fury, but I'm going to throw 20k uh, metal bits here so you guys can see the finisher in the match uh, with a proper move metal on it. Of course, you would be able to have much higher stats than that uh, going with a takedown set and things like that. But this will at least give you guys a much, much better idea of the finisher build. Uh, the finisher build, uh, you can't get ready turn one right now. But uh, with the black match, it's ready turn two and then cycles uh, repeatedly. So uh, let's take a look at the moves. Uh, we got the heroic diving chop, 21 MP. It sounds like a lot. Don't freak out. Finisher, um, green. Deal 248k damage and choose 7 gems to make into black gems and pin the opponent. Then we have the 9 MP superplex black. Deal 57 or 50k damage and gain 10 green MP. And the standing drop kick 8 MP black. Deal 45k damage and gain 10 green MP. Uh, for the entourage, and I have to do a shout out. I cannot remember who it was that uh, told me this. I am so sorry, but I had someone watching my uh, preview say, hey, you know you can hit this little exclamation button and bring up the tool tip for all the trainers? And I said, no, I didn't know that. I'm going to start doing that. So now you have their tool tip on the uh, screen right here. Been playing this game for years, never thought to click that button. So uh, I apologize. I forget which person told me that, but thank you so much. If you're post your name in the comments that would be great um so we're gonna run bray for four more black mp we're gonna run ko for green uh move damage 45 percent you're gonna run jay uso for 10 more and then um nwo big show for 20 percent increased chance of black gems on the initial board uh so let's get out here we're gonna go against five star silver fiend because he's got a lot of hit points uh over two million so that's who we're gonna go against for this whole preview uh, he does have a sub, so it could get annoying, but let's see what happens. Uh, we need a black match turn one to get going. Um, you can see what I have on my strap, except the metal you guys just watched me put on. Um, no perks here uh, at all. And um, Fiend obviously is strapped up. We can take a look at his strap for, uh, one second once we're in the game. He's reducing gem damage by 50% and move damage by 18%. That finisher with the move damage metal um, is going to do 670k. Um, so we're going to be doing 670k on the finisher and choosing black gems. Uh, we need a black match on turn one. We don't have it. Um, 
I, we want to try not to give him purple or black either. Um, so I think I'm going to take this green match. We should be fine. And we dropped a black match with it. That was perfect. Okay, so now we get to rock and roll. And again, this is how you'd run him for feud. I would go double takedown and cheap shot or head games for this build. Um, we're just gonna hit the move damage or the MP ups and then hit the finisher and then we're off to the races recycling. Obviously you can set up cascades with the choose on the finisher uh, and do some stuff there. Just try to maximize your damage a little bit, but we're gonna hit for 670k and then choose these blacks, which will recycle our moves. Let's take those three. Let's do a row break. Uh, maybe, actually, let's do... Let's do five there, and... Let's make this a row break. Nice cascades. And... 815k finisher. That recycles itself. And Fiend can't kick out. So, really good move set. Uh, it's going to be strong. You will need a match, uh, but it'll recycle every time after you're going. Uh, so it's a nice option to have. That's my least favorite build set too, by the way. Um, he's got... He's really good. Let's take a look at the 4-star moveset. I keep going back and forth between the 4-star and the 5-star. Um, I like them both a lot. Uh, first things first, let's put that uh, Fury Metal back on him so we have the set. Um, so, bye bye Takedown. You served your purpose. You were fantastic. Uh, you did what we needed you to. And I think I just had this one on it before. Nothing special. Or was it this one? It doesn't matter. We'll just put this one on. We just want it for the set bonus. So I am not buffing his gem damage through the roof like I could. It's only, you can see, at 60%, 58%. Um, to be close to on par with who we're going against, who has 50% gem reduction. So trying to give a good look without completely buffing everything. Although that move damage one was kind of buffed, but that's because it's fun. All right. So we're going to swap in all new moves. We're going to bring in the arm drag. Steamboat definitely had a good arm drag. The knife edge chop. And the diving crossbody. Um, so like I said, I'll be running all of these, how I, you'd run them to be turn one and feud. Arm drag, uh, 7 MP blue, deal 32k damage, and swap a 1x7 random area into blue gems. Uh, diving cross body, deal 32k damage, and swap a 1x7 random area into green gems. The pin bar does not move. And the knife edge chop, uh, 8 MP green, deal 54k damage, and increase your blue gem uh, damage by 393% for two turns. Um, this is awesome. So the idea is we're going to start with the diving cross body, buff the, use the knife edge chop, and then use the arm drag. And if we don't cascade, we're going to do it twice on turn one. Um, so, it's quite good. We're going to go with Lawler and AJ. Uh, whoever you have that adds blue MP is fine. It doesn't have to be AJ if you have someone else. Um, I think Beth adds one blue. Um, and I want to say... Um, oh, Rizar will add one blue as well. And then we're going to go with Lacey and Afa for gem damage. Uh, Lacey's 20% green. Oops, that's the wrong one. You're not Lacey. You don't even look like Lacey. And Afa is 15% blue. Okay. So four more blue MP, two more blue MP, and then the gem damage, guys. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, and it wouldn't be a preview if my uh, blue stacks didn't crash. Um, so obviously with the gem damage here, I would run this one double fury. 
Um, I still like cheap shot and head games. I don't like uh, blue bomber or two words for you because it'll mess up uh, your you're not wanting to move the pin bar. Um, so I don't like those two in this case, where in a lot of cases with gem damage I would run those. I don't like them in this case. Uh, but definitely Double Fury. Um, you could run something like the Rhythm and Blues, uh, which I believe is Break Green, Get Blue MP, but you don't need it because these are recycling themselves. So uh, no reason for that. So again, I think Head Games are Cheap Shot, with Cheap Shot being the one I would go with uh, to help keep them down. So let's try this again. Hopefully this time without blue stacks acting up. So we're going to hit the don't move the pin bar. And get a nice little cascade out of that. So right now our base blue gem damage is 8k. Well, 8.2 really. We're going to buff that. To 40k. And then we're going to make 7 gems. So this will be a nice chunk of damage here. And we didn't cascade, which is perfect. So... By not cascading, we get to do it all over again. And you can even drop a 3 match in and do it again on this, so... And this is turn 1, and will be turn 1 in Feud. Now, um, you normally wouldn't need to take a swipe in Feud. I don't have an MP up, um, so I do need to take a swipe. Normally in Feud, you would have MP up. Uh, you could also use a green MP trainer. Uh, but uh, we don't need it as long as we don't cascade with the swipe. So now we get to hit the buff again. And we're doing 72,000 for each blue gem, and we're making at least seven of them. Fiend has over 2 million hit points. Uh, this is turn one using two MP trainers. Uh, we just did, what was that, like 1.3 million total on turn one? He did kick out, though. And we're still slightly boosted, and we, so if somebody kicks out, look at all the pin bar room I have. Um, you're just gonna boost the heck out of it. Such a strong move set. Sort of like Kofi on steroids. So right now we're back to the 72k. This will obviously take all of his health, uh, but I don't think it'll pin him. So let's see if we can get um, a third buff. Yeah, so that would have been 660. It was like 550k, I think is what that said. And just for fun, because 5-star gold is a thing now, and there's 4 million hit point health pools. Let's hit that again. Even though he's very dead. And now we're up to 100k on each of those gems. And if he still had life, if we didn't cascade, we'd be able to do it a third time. Um, so yeah. Uh, Steamboat? Really good. Really good, guys. Uh, certainly want this card. Uh, now let's look at the last set. Uh, and, and like I said, I have trouble deciding which one I like more. And you just saw how strong that one was. Uh, last set is very similar. We're changing one move. It's the five-star move that we're going to bring in. And this one, for the preview, I'm going to use uh, DX Triple H, who most people don't have. But... Don't worry, in a regular situation like Feud, you would not need him. That slot would be open and you would keep Afa in. This is simply because I have zero perks whatsoever. Normally, you would not need him. So you won't need him in a Feud situation. So he's just there so you know how he would play. Um, so you'd have Afa for this last one. We are going to bring in the Head Scissors Takedown. It's going to take the place of the buff move. 
Um, you choose three columns to make into one turn countdown gems that will deal 43,000 damage to the opponent when activated. Uh, basically, uh, you're doing 1 million damage with this. Um, also of note, at 5 star gold, and it's 9 MP, at 5 star gold, um, that move goes to four columns. So you get an extra column um, and does like 1.3 million damage um, instead of 1 million. So uh, it's very effective. And again, you would not need uh, you would not need Triple H uh, DX. He's on there, so I can show you guys what he would look like in feud. Again, two MP trainers. Um, for this move set, nothing buffs the countdown gem damage. Uh, so not in a hurry, or you don't really need anything necessarily there because you can't buff it, and that's where the bulk of it's coming. So you could kind of have. Uh, free reign. Honestly, at 5-star gold, uh, Double Fury would be nice to help kickouts uh, because it's going to move to a lot of turn 2 matches, but also Double Vitality would be pretty clutch at 5-star gold too because uh, he would have so many hit points. Anyway, um, again, uh, DX and Blue Bomber would ruin your pin bar control, so I don't like them for this build, so I would still probably stay with Cheap Shot or Head Games at this point. So we're going to start exactly the same way we did. And then we are going to put out our countdown gems. Now, the way countdown gems work... They don't tick down until you swipe a gem. So we're going to take this swipe right here. And they're going to tick down and do a million damage. Like that. We're going to cascade there. No big deal. Um, if you have a lot of pin bar and you don't cascade, like, and by a lot, I mean, say that the AI does a three match... Uh, you can get that off multiple times. So, so like in this case, we have it loaded. Um, here, we'll just do it this way, just for funsies. And again, keep in mind, this move at 5-star gold goes to 4 columns, which is crazy. Uh, we're going to put these here, and then we're not going to move the pin bar. It's random, so I can't control it. So we hit one. Okay. Not the end of the world. But if you're picking four and you hit one, you still have enough to fill your gem board up. Um, even when you hit one. And now we're going to do that swipe. And uh, let's... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Boom. That would have been like 2 million damage. I don't know a lot. Anyway, match is over. Uh, Steamboat's freaking amazing. Uh, I want him really bad. Uh, best. I, th I think, I, I really do think he's the best tech in the game. He's going to be really fast. He's going to hit really hard. Uh, you do have to set him up differently for feud than you're used to, though, with two MP trainers. Uh, but all of the, 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 the blue builds, that would this is how I would run him for feud, and he would be turn one. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I am 100% all in on chasing Steamboat, and will do whatever I need to to try and get him. Uh, really interested to hear what you guys think. Um, let me know in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe, and share, as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and be looking for my Goldberg uh, uh, preview video. We'll get that out tonight as well. Thanks for watching, guys.